Okay, this is our new life raft. We got it uh, the day before leaving, and um, coincidentally, it was bought for us by my ex-wife, Laurence, who one time, uh, several years ago, when we were getting ready to go on a long sea voyage, she said, well, I must be mad to be going to sea with a man with no life raft. And luckily, the day that we left, a uh, life raft company showed up and donated us a life raft. So we sailed off with a life raft. A few years later, we went on a winter voyage, and we were in a storm that was so big, it turned the boat over almost upside down. When the boat went underwater, the life raft was an inflatable type life raft. It thought it was underwater, the boat was sinking, the life raft inflated. When we came back up, the life raft blew away in the wind, hung beside the boat. We said, there's our life raft. And before we could get it, it popped, it broke, it disappeared into the night. And uh, so we didn't have a life raft for a number of years. And we intended to use a, 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 a nine foot pump up Zodiac as our life raft and we have our uh, survival bags together. And we do have an EPIRB emergency positioning beacon. But Laurence thought we should have a life raft so she bought it and had them deliver it here to us only the evening before leaving. And so now, thank goodness, we have a four-man ballasted canopied life raft. If anything happens, this is what will save Sonia and I. Of course, I'm going to store it inside and pass it out if it has to be used. So I'm going to store it inside and we can keep it uh, in uh, new condition. And this is one more security that we have for our voyage.